him. He's going to move on. We're going to move on to our next set. Nairo, boys. Nairo. Everyone knows Nairo. Everyone loves Nairo. He even has a saga coming up. He has up. a saga coming up. June 20th. That's how much you like him. They gave him a saga. They gave him his own saga. You know, the Naifus came out, like, in full force. <laughs> Naifus being the players who are, or spectators that sub to Nairo's sub on his uh, twitch.tv slash Nairo B. Nice. Nice. <laughs> it's it's yeah. very beautiful. He's and playing against Kool-Aid. Yeah, and Nairo coming from uh, New Jersey, so definitely, you know, repping the series. He's come out to Katar plenty of times. Pretty much won almost them. every single yeah. time. Has won a lot of them, too. Mm -hmm. One Katar that always sticks in the back of my mind is the one where he beat DeBuzz in Grand Finals on yes. Duck Hunt. Yes. Do you remember that oh, set? Oh, I, I certainly I, do. Uh, he, like, I, well, what did he do? He had him, like, on the edge of the stage, and he was just going, he was just, he was, like, toying with DeBuzz in that last stock. I can't remember exactly, like, he did, like, a flip kick or something. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what happened? Um, I just remember it. He he was styling on the ledge with a bunch of different. Yeah, that's kicks what it was. It was like it was like Zaring. He was basically going back on dancing. The stage. Yeah, yeah, he was dancing all around to buzz and got the win. I was just it blew my mind. It was one of the flashiest just show endings. Yeah, he was he was showboating so hard against the buzz. We have him going against, up against in control Kool Aid, a team hey. member of mine. Hey, in control. In control. Shout out to in control like gaming. Definitely picked up a lot of players recently. They picked yeah. up tons of players coming from MDVA, including the likes of like Wadi, Seagull Joe. Yeah, and both Wadi and uh, Kool Aid making the top thirty two. Unfortunately, I did not. Your top 32 commentary. Yeah, I didn't have that. I didn't have the chance to enter, so instead I'll be repping and top 32 the in a different way. Yeah, and I'll try not to show any bias, oh. but that is really unfortunate coming from Kool Aid. No amount of bias is going to change yeah. what just happened there. Yeah. With Kool Aid. He just misinputted. I don't know if nerves got to him or whatever. But Kool Aid, I remember this guy from the brawl days, dude. I don't know. He's been doing. He's been putting in a lot of work using Sheik, and uh, I believe he's been using other characters as well. He has a uh, Pac Man. Pac Man. That's the character I was thinking of. Yes. Uh, but he's from Boston, Massachusetts. He's a uh, Six on the PR there. But right now, he's not looking anytime good because now he just wow. bodied him. 45 seconds in. That set is done. He doesn't even care that Kool-Aid SD that first stock. We're talking about, we're talking earlier about speedrunning bracket. That is, Nairo is really trying to speedrun this bracket. He, you know, he's got a saga coming up. He's not messing around. He's like, I'm going to get as many wins as I can get. I'm going to take this tournament. No backstory allowed for Kool-Aid. This yeah. is Nairo's tournament. Yeah. That, was, that was him interrupting me. I am so sorry, Nairo. I will let you do the talking. <laughs> Let, but no, let your boots two. do the talking. Yeah, let your boots do the talking and your Ooh. stun gun and everything. Well, so that's a hard way with two really big, uh, like, once a grab and then just raw a B, but Kool-Aid's like, no, no, I don't think so. You that's may have styled on me early on, but I'm not going to not gonna let that fly. But to be fair, that's Nairo's play style. Oh, absolutely. This man is so flashy. He goes for super heavy reads and flashy kills. He's super aggressive. Oh, yeah. he reads the air dodge, uh, misses the up B, though. And it's why he's such a fan favorite. Mm -hmm. Well, he has such a good balance of, you know, when we say he plays aggressive, he's not playing reckless. He's playing, it's very, you know, he, he calculated. Plays, yeah, it's calculated. He's playing off of the other player's reactions. He's just, he just has such good reaction time that he's able to, he's able to play in that style. And it, it works out for him so well, time and time again. Just doing cr the craziest things in the clutches of moments. But here we have Kool-Aid actually holding his own this round. Um, it's very, with a percent lead nonetheless. Okay. Right, he's going to get that punish out of the forward air onto the shield. Unfortunately, Kool-Aid didn't space out that forward air just correctly, so now he's going to get that huge punish. Ooh, I like the jab one, waiting, noticing that uh, Kool-Aid was holding shield because of the jab, and then gets a free grab for it. And that was smart stuff coming from Nairo, just immediately grabbing onto the ledge, expecting a trump. Saw that Kool-Aid did not get trumped and followed him up with that up air, even though Kool-Aid was still avoiding it all. He was just chasing around him, applying so much pressure onto his possibly his mentality. Seeing the rare uh, side B from Nairo. That leaned oh. That 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 was quite the whiff, and he paid dearly for it. Got him. <laughs> got him indeed. But got him. Got him back. The neutral air into bouncing fish. Almost get it, solidifying the kill, but didn't have the rage that he needed from the previous stop. Yeah, it's not going to be quite enough. But can he get a set up here? He does have full ch fully charged needles. Can go for needles into bouncing fish, but um, chooses to use them in neutral and instead. Uh, gets punished for it again with the jab one into grab. Nairo really feeling himself. Okay. Great answer from Kool-Aid, but still just cannot find this, the, the answer to finish off the stock. Yeah, great answer from Kool-Aid, but even an amazing DI coming from now in order to survive the, the attack. He's sitting at max rage at 152%. Kool-Aid is starting to see the and struggles. This could be big. He's getting his up air strings. Oh, oh he whiffs. This could be big for Kool-Aid. He needs yep. it. 
He had to go for something big like that because the Sheik has so much trouble getting kills when they get to a certain percent. Once you get them too far in, it's like, well, I just got to keep hitting you with these things that aren't going to combo into each other and wait till you're at some absurd percent, like 200. And you'll notice that Kool-Aid space, he actually stepped a decent space away from him before going for the forward smash because Sheik's forward smash has been known to fail in up close proximity. So you really want him with the, the outside parts of the forward smash to make sure that the second hit comboed and killed. Okay, getting carried with this forward air train. <laughs> Both just sitting in shield, respecting each other, but Nairo does win the exchange, getting out. You know, Zero Suit having one of the fastest jabs in the game, along with Little Mac. All right, Kool-Aid getting out of the uppie. Trying to fall back down to the ground, but he just fell right on top of Nairo's shield in order to get hit by the boost kick. Oh. Uppie out of shield. Nairo taking away game two once again, doing it pretty solidly. Yeah, but I will say, you know, especially in comparison to game one, Kool-Aid did have his own much more. Um, he had a hard time getting the initial kill, and I think if, you know, if Kool-Aid can kind of keep up what he had there, but is able to get Nairo into those uh, positions off stage where he can opt for, you know, maybe Needle, Bouncing Fish, or get some kind of edge guard kill, uh, th that'll give him the advantage he needs. Yeah, he's definitely been playing a little bit more patient this time around. He was waiting, like you said, uh, when, when Sheik has trouble killing, he wants to try to go for something big in order to get a kill. So I think he's starting to wait for Nairo to go for something flashy, something big, something like unheard of, mm -hmm. and then wait for Nairo to Three, whiff it and then get two, the kill that he needs. Kool-Aid, you know, Let's he's go. chilling back with the needles. Ooh, um, trying to go uh, for a forward air bouncing fish, but it's not able to connect. Okay, Nairo just throwing out this uh, paralyzer gun over and over, or the plasma, I'm so sorry. And I always like uh, watching when Nairo opts to go for either up air or forward air. I feel like he uses forward air as like a kind of a DI mix-up because they always anticipate the up air, but actually will carry them farther off stage horizontally, and it can lead to even like you know bigger punishes. Okay, Nairo running back and forth on that ledge, trying to they're just play, playing super safe against each other. But now Nairo overextends with that grab, so we get a free punish from Kool Aid, but didn't get too much off of it. Yeah, because he saw that uh, Kool Aid had whiffed an option of his own, but I don't he, Nairo did not react quickly enough. Gets the down smash, follows it, and with uh, catch him with forward air. I thought he was gonna try to go for a boost kick. Yeah, do something crazy. That's gonna maybe try to up air chain him. Crazy Nairo. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they're calling him, right? Yeah, the slightly energy crazy Nairo. Energy crazy. Ooh, again with the boost kick out of shield. This time not killing him. Kool Aid trying to get back on the stage. Oh, oh no! Now I, I Kool Aid. Went for an up B, vanish. To try to actually almost punish Nairo for landing back down on the ground, try to get a solidify a kill with it. But then just kind of messed up where he was going to go. Kind of fell down to his death. And that was just kind of unfortunate for him. But he's still in the fight. Got him with a pretty, almost a slightly charged forward smash against yeah. Nairo. But Cheek, you know, not having tons of raw KO power outside. Outside of, of the diamond cutter. Yeah. The up smash of legends. Yeah. And that's not so easy to get either. It has to be the tipper for it to really have that kind of kill power. So oh, and you're getting chained like an up air off the top from Zero Suit, especially Nairo. Ooh. You're, you're just like, I just want to get back down to the ground so badly. And Nairo recognizes that. Yeah, and he's going to feed off that too. He's going to he's gonna react to your reactions accordingly. He's like, oh, you want the stage down there? Doesn't it look pretty? It's going to be a big punish for Kool-Aid. Every single time that he whiffs a boost kick, he has an F smash at the ready in order to apply damage. And I wonder if he could be going for you know maybe some like bigger combo starters like some F, F tilt chains or something just to get bigger damage instead of these uh, charged forward smashes. Um, you know, obviously in instances where it might kill, I think it's strong, but in you know at a lower percent, I'd, I'd like to maybe see some some like variety. a grab, right? That could or lead like, into a lot of damage. Yeah, he's probably just playing some, off of something that something that would carry. Uh, Nairo off the stage instead of just letting kind of neutral reset. And Nairo wow. showing what Nairo does best, yeah. dude. He stunned him, waited for him to go flying off stage into exactly the exact spot that he, his opponent was going to be at for the up air to connect. Good stuff coming from Energy Nairo. He's going to move on into winner.